Hi students, in this video, 10th Science Biology Unit Reproduction in Plants and Animals. So, former video, I have explained all the basics of this lesson up to structure of overview. So, in this video, we are going to see about the next important phase of reproduction in plants that means pollination and its types and the agents which are providing or facilitating pollination then fertilization what are the stages in the fertilization what are the post fertilization changes everything will be explained in this video so to go through this video thoroughly and share with your friends thank you this sexual reproduction taking place in two phases one is pollination and fertilization first we go through the pollination pollination is nothing but transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma when you see the anther from here this pollen is liberated then it will come in and stick on the stigma is called pollination this pollination takes place in two types one is self pollination and one is cross pollination self pollination means same flower if a flower having a anther and pollen uh, stigma the same anther will liberate the pollen grain they will be sticking on the same stigma of the same flower otherwise same flower in the same plant so it is happening in this only one plant so it is called self pollination or chedi lekra or poopula lekra anther la the pollen poi vilandalo illa and the anther la adhe chedi lekra vera flower la poi vilandalo it is called self pollination self pollination advantages in certain so kandipa nadakku ella flower bicycle flower ah inchana it is kandipa nadakku and there is no problem it is don't depend on the any agent so it don't depend on any external agents like uh, insects wind water there is no wastage of pollen grains so if, if it is in taking place in a single bicycle of flower the number of pollen will be very less it won't be wasted because it certainly stick on the stigma disadvantages the seeds are less in number endosperm is minute new variety of plants cannot be produced because it is happening in this single plant single flower a single plant so there is no new variation cross pollination pollen of an anther of a flower to the stigma of the flower on the another plant so it is two different plants are taking place in the reproduction phase so it is called cross pollination advantages it is always having hybrid just like hybrid new varieties is always forming uh, it produce more viable seeds disadvantages pollen may be failed due to the barrier of distance if a plant is here another plant is which more than a mini, uh, meter or more than a kilometer it cannot be happen so far then a wastage of pollen grain since if it is taking place by means of wind the pollen should be produced in large number most of the pollen will be wasted sometime it may be introduce unwanted characters it always depends upon the external agencies external agencies the pollination taken place or taken or facilitated by means of some external agencies in the cross pollination first one is anemophily by means of wind so if an pollen is taken by means of wind it should be small smooth dry and lightweight same thing comparatively it having a, the stigma should be big enough the pollen should be produced in large numbers example grasses and catchi next pollination by means of insects it is endomophily it is 100% successful so it having a brightly colored flowers it is good smells good having a nectar the large in size and accents and spines are present in the accent the 80 percentage of insect uh, insect pollination done by the honeybee next pollination by means of water hydrophily so here also pollen grains are produced in large numbers the pollen grains should be floating on the surface of the water then it will reach on the stigma example hydrilla and wallis nigra the next one is pollination by animals that is zoophily here also the flower should be bright color size also big then it also center the next and last topic is called uh, fertilization in plants 
once the pollen is stick on the stigma it produce pollen tubes so in the stigma it having some nutrition for the growing pollen tube so the pollen tube will be grow and will be moving inside the ovary and reach the carpel by means of micropyle see the structure the micropyle through the micropyle will reaching the embryo sac it producing two cells a generative cell and vegetative cell then it produce two sperms it will be reaching there one sperm will fertilize and fuse the egg and produce zygote another sperm will be reproduce the primary endosperm cell okay. the first the first sperm is fused with the egg and produce diploid cell zygote the second one is produced with the primary endosperm cell so it is a triple fusion triple fusion or diploid cell will be producing this is converted into uh, laterally it will be converted into endosperm which is giving the nourishment for the growing embryo this two types of fertilization taking place in the angiospermic plant so it is called double fertilization so the first one is with the primary uh, egg with the sperm second one with the primary endosperm with the another one more sperm laterally the cynogets and antipodal cells will be degenerated significance or importance of the fertilization it stimulates the ovary to develop into fruit so when the fertilization is taking place it produces some hormones to giving a stimulus to the ovary then the ovary is become fruits it develop always a new characters post fertilization since it is very important two month even four month later as ovule is developed into seed so the ovule which is in center it will be developed into seed indigments are this two indigments are converted into seed coat ovary is enlarged into fruit the seed contain future plant or embryo which develop into seedling under the appropriate condition so this tea seed is the main source or main part of the plant to produce next generation of the reap sexual reproduction plants so seed is formed by means of fertilization so it is always producing a new varieties hybrids are producing by means of this this knowledge the stimulation of ovary to developing new fruits so this knowledge is capitalized by the human beings to producing seedless plants you see uh, seedless plants in grapes guava it is by means of this technology we are artificially giving the stimulus to the ovary by means of spraying chemicals so that seed will be uh, developed into forming a new fruit without forming the seeds so the ovary getting the stimulus the ovary became the fruit even there is no fertilization happens inside this ovary okay, that's all so this lesson is very important this chapter is very important chapter we have so many questions uh, just like post fertilization changes uh, fertilization plant is very important uh, form of this diagram then types of pollination agents anemophily hydrophily endomophily hydrophily and zoophily then advantages and disadvantages of cross pollination and uh, self pollination the structure of ovule very important two mark then structure of anther pollen grain and pollen grain this is also very important two mark then parts of the flower this is also they ask in the two mark and four mark so these are the important points of this lesson just go through if you have any doubts uh, keep commenting in the comment section we will discuss in the uh, later videos thank you i hope this video will be useful for you just share with your friends